Hey, what's up? In this tutorial, I wanted to share with you this new environment for PHP in Mac that is called Herd. You can go to herd.laravel.com and then you can download the file. And by downloading and installing the Herd app, you're going to have access to this interface where we have Nginx, DNS mask, PHP 8.2, and you can activate whatever version of PHP. It comes already with Composer, so that you have access to Composer from the command line. And you can see all the php.ini extensions installed. You can see some of the features here. It's pretty fast to install and to use as a PHP environment. You don't have to migrate from Valet in order to use Herd. You can use it because Herd uses Valet under the hood. You can see here that all versions are supported from 7.4 to 8.3 and it takes care of keeping this version up to date and new, new ones. And you can see the PHP extensions are already installed with this herd application. And unfortunately, we can't install new extensions, but that's okay because you can see here that most of the extensions that are included are the ones that we use when developing with PHP. So we have SQLite 3, we have simple XML, XML writer, you can see image soap, so OP cache, PDO, MySQL, etc. So head over to the installation, download it for from here or in the main button that you see here. And after we execute the file, then the app install and let's get through the steps to install herd, to configure herd in your Mac. So let's click. Let's get started. We have to give our admin password so that we allow this app to run the program. You can see here, I already have Valet and it detected that I have already Valet. So that's great. You can easily migrate from Valet to Herd. So don't worry, you can always restart Valet manually via Valet star in your terminal. So let's continue. Now you can see that it says that now we can use Herd, PHP, Composer, and Laravel from our terminal. They're already ready for us to be used by the terminal. So all PHP projects placed in slash in your users folder slash herd will be automatically available in your browser. So we have to place our projects under herd so that we can visit local host name of the application. And then we're going to have access to that application through the web browser. Okay. I'm going to select also to automatically launch herd on system startup so that I have it ready. You can see here the notification. And let's get started. So I'm going to open a terminal. So let's go inside herd and let's create a Laravel project by executing composer so that we can verify if we have composer available from the command line, composer create project. Then the project is going to be a Laravel project, Laravel slash Laravel. And then the name of the application, I'm going to call it herd. And now let's go to her settings. And let's give it a try. You can see all the general settings where we are going to have the paths that are going to be verified for sites. You can see that also sites placed under Valet are going to be also available for DNS masking and also user internet areas heard. Okay. And here you can see sites and we have herd.test. So let's give it a try. Herd.test. And voila, we have our application running. So the domain that is created for our application is name of the app. In this case, herd, that was the name that I chose and then dot test. And you can see that we have the DNS mask. We have what PHP version we're using, etc. Here, if we click on PHP, you can see that we can install version 8.3 by clicking here. And then her is going to take care of downloading PHP 0.3 and they're available now. Now, if we click here on expose is where you can expose some of your local projects to the internet. Okay. So this is a pretty nice way to have everything that you need in order to have Laravel up and running PHP, all the extensions ready here. So let's go back to her Laravel.com. And you can see that they suggest also, if you don't have them to install Tinkerwell, thousands of developers, Tinkerwell to run code snippets and write complex eloquent queries, hello for testing emails, dbeng in order to have a client to access MySQL and Postgres 
and Redis database. I already have it installed, but if we, you click here, you can see that it goes to that website and then you can download that web, that application and install it in your Mac. Okay, great. I hope you installed Herd and that you're going to have fun running PHP and running Laravel projects in your Mac by simply installing Herd. Bye.